Hello guys, today I want to show you one PHP feature functionality that is used quite a lot in the Laravel framework itself, but maybe some of you don't know that. So in Eloquent or in any object-oriented programming code, we can create an object and then provide properties or methods. But did you know that both property or method names could be dynamic as variables? For example, property equals name and then you can do user property like this equals value like this. Similarly, method equals save and then you do user method like this. When you would do that? When you don't know upfront what would be the property or the method because it depends on some condition, on user input, on other variables and on other factors. And as a proof that it's actually useful, I've searched in Laravel framework itself in the repository for this combination of symbols. And there are 41 files that have this functionality. So let's take a look at a few of them for what could be real life examples. For example, this is interesting. Also, you can check if the method exists in that object class only then call that method. This is an interesting example. In Eloquent model, in a similar fashion that I've shown you just now, the method save is one of the methods which are resolved by the magic method called call and then what method we should run. If the method is in those four, so increment, decrement, or those two, they should be called on specific object of that Eloquent because we're incrementing a specific value of existing object instead of the static method like user all or user query or something like that. Another example in the search is actually two in one. Both variable and method can be dynamic. And this comes from a concern, which is actually a trait, a PHP trait for relationships. So if your eloquent model has relationships, there is a function called touch and related function is touch owners. And we have a variable called relation and we have both relation as a function like post author touch, which would update the updated ad for the author. But also we need to fire the event on that relation as an object, which is actually a recursion. So touch owners could call touch owners. That's how you can touch multiple levels above if you have a few relationships deeper. And there are many more examples in the Laravel framework. I will link that search in the description below. For example, for join method, we can join where or on, which is dynamic based on where condition. So it also is used as a method name here. Question to you, have you ever used such dynamic property or dynamic method? What was the use case? Share in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel to get daily videos like this one and see you guys in other videos.